Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan from Helios Telemedicine for Men, and today I would like to talk to you about what is a normal testosterone level. Testosterone is made in the testes and released into the blood where it can be bound by various proteins circulating there. SHBG binds the testosterone very tightly such that you essentially never see it again. Albumin binds the protein loosely so it can come on and off through the day. There are three forms of the testosterone that we can measure. The total testosterone is exactly that, all the testosterone that's there. The free testosterone is that portion of the testosterone which is not bound to anything and can be used at any moment. The bioavailable testosterone is that testosterone which is free plus the testosterone that is bound loosely by proteins. The testosterone levels are typically higher between 8 and 10 in the morning and that's when we measure it. They are lowest at about 9 p.m. Testosterone levels start low in childhood and go up in early puberty, rising to a peak at about age 19 or 20. After that time, they begin to fall. And by age 35 or so, typically the testosterone levels are falling at about 1% per year. However, if you are in that subset of men in whom the testosterone is falling more quickly, you might be hypogonadal at a younger age. The commonly used normal ranges based on total population are from about 300 nanograms per deciliter as a low to 1,000 at a high. However, your own personal normal range is likely to be much narrower than that. So, if your body likes to be in the higher testosterone range, but you test out in the low normal or low testosterone range, you could have symptomatic hypogonadism. That is why it is very important to talk to a clinician with a special interest in men's health. Check us out at heliostelemedicine.com or on Instagram and Facebook at Helios Telemedicine for Men. Thank you for your attention. I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.